Good morning, sir. You're the only one who dared enter my garden wearing clogs. <sighs> I'm sorry. The Prime Minister would like a word with you. I'm Yoshiko. Pleased to meet you, Excellency. Sorry to bother you. What's the purpose of the Kokorokai? It's to bring sunshine beyond the Kokorokai River. Good. I'm in need of your assistance in bringing sunshine beyond the Kokorokai River. Though both Mukden and Chanchun have fallen into our hands, we're still not safe in the Northeast. There's a population of 30 million. Too many for our army to control unless we have Fu Yi. If we could have Fu Yi as the nominal ruler in Mukden, we'd have no more fear of revolution. I understand. Thank you. I'm the daughter of Prince Shu, a Manchurian princess. I'd be happy to work for the Empire. Hmm. If we'd Fu Yi on the throne, we'd gain control of the entire Northeast. You're to go to Tianxin and contact Fu Yi and bring him back to Mukden within a fortnight. As soon as I get there, five days will be enough. You shouldn't be. Overconfident, Yoshiko. You mustn't forget. I'm a native of Peking. When I go to China, I'm joining my own kind. If you live on the shore, you are ignorant of how a fish breathes in the water. <laughs> if the army gets Fu Yi before you, then all of Manchuria will be under their control. However, if I'm to take Fu Yi to Mukden, then control of Manchuria rests in our hands. Master, please think again. Let me go on this mission. I, Yoshiko, the 21st daughter of Prince Shu, vow that within 10 days I will bring back Fu Yi to claim the throne. If I should fail, I will commit suicide by Harakiri in this rose garden. <laughs> knows that I am Yoshiko of the Kokorukai. Too far. No, Ididō. It's you who go too far. <laughs> it's not going to be as easy as you think. Fu Yi is always watched by both the government and revolutionary forces. Do you think you can sneak him out without them knowing? <laughs> I'm confident. The mission will be a complete success. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you want to go to Tenzin, do you? Don't you realize, our army is also in close contact with Fu Yi. I know that. The commander-in-chief has sent his chief agent to Tin Sin, but he's a fellow spy, Kenji Doibara. He is cold-blooded. 
he won't be nearly as reasonable as I have been. That is enough. <laughs> Why not take a look? What are you going to do now? Are you going to kill me? Just you wait. Before your wound has recovered, I will already have Fuyi and Mukden. <laughs> My name is Ho Jin. How are you, Mr. Shiko? Do you know me? You're the famous male impersonator. Who doesn't know you? A letter from our leader. I've already got a cable. Now here is a map of the garden. Perhaps soon you can see it for yourself. This photo is His Majesty. This Chen Pao Xu. This Cheng Xiao Xu. This is Cheng Shi Tun. And the Emperor's mother Wen Xu. Well, now you seem to know all of them already. <laughs> and here is another photo. The palace eunuch Li Lingying. Anyone wanting to see the king goes through him first. Also, only he is aware. I am the daughter of Prince Xu, the Princess Xin Wan. Right. I'll find out how you can meet him. It's November the first today. In ten days from now, we must have the king away from here. Tomorrow, I'll take a look at the Qing Garden myself. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Yoshida, so the king has sent you out to get money. Oh, of course, he wants us to sell these antiques for him. <laughs> these are some of his favorite antiques. Hey, careful, careful! Oh, yeah. um, really? You tell him to ask me for money. I can help. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, do me a favor. Any old vases? I'll buy them from you. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, don't worry. If I see some, I'll let you know immediately. <laughs> right, come along now. Come along. Ah, uh, oh, you're uh, useless. Can't you even carry uh, these uh, properly? Here is the news. Since September the 18th and the victory at Mukta, the whole area has been harassed by a brilliant saboteur. On October 3rd, he burned down the police station. On the 9th, exploded the arsenal. On the 15th, killed the chairman of the East Asia Association. On the 22nd, assassinated the chief of Japanese intelligence, General Yoto. After each incident, he left behind a sprig of plum blossom as a trademark. Our residents are warned to be on the lookout. You must be tired. It's all ready now. You can go ahead, to his whereabouts, Contact the police immediately. There is a substantial reward offered. How did it go today? We took a lot of photos. It was just like you said, closely guarded. If the king doesn't want to come, then we can't make him. We can't take him out against his will with all those guards. You asked me to find out about Li Lin I have discovered that every day he goes to the same tea house. He will be there at seven tomorrow, having his breakfast. If you want to talk to him, then go there at seven o'clock. Right. Seven o'clock tomorrow. You go and tell him that I'm here, hmm. and that if he's willing, I'll see him the day after. Wow! Well, I know. I was going to lay a little bit. Oh, Mr. Tom, uh, please uh, come inside. Hello. Hey. Come on, come on, deal with the charge, deal him 
I'm going now. See that it's all right. No, come on. You keep playing. You can't leave here just yet. Come on. Ah, playing. Hey, my friend, here she is. Come on now. Come on, Mr. Hodges. Let's see. Hey, Mr. Hodges, what's the matter? Hey, 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 The plum bandit. Huh? Huh? How could that happen? Shortly after one o'clock this morning, the general manager of the Japanese restaurant on Sunshine Road was assassinated while he was playing cards at a local gambling house. His assassin is believed to be the Plum Bandit. Major, the captain of the investigation unit is here. We're here to investigate why he was assassinated. <laughs> it's very simple. He was assassinated because someone knew he was contacting Li Ling Ying and wanted to give us a warning. It would seem the enemy knows our business. Miss Yoshiko, since he's been killed, could you take over for a few days? When your orders come from Tokyo, we will know what action we are meant to take. <laughs> That's him. You take care of him. You are most welcome, Master. Welcome. This is Lieutenant Yoshida from headquarters. Lieutenant Yoshida, how are you? I haven't seen you before. I just arrived. I am most honored to meet you. My name's Mariko Ashoka. Mr. Jojin was murdered, so I'm looking after things for a while. It's a very long time since we had anyone from Tokyo visit us. Thank you very much. We want to talk in private. You will leave the room till I call. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Gogoraka is in luck. You have such a lovely spy. Mister? Yes, ma'am? Does the chief come here often? Oh. Not really. He's been here just once this month. There's a gentleman from Japan who wants to see you upstairs. What are you doing here? I have been ordered to come here and see you, and also to remind you. Today's the fourth day of your mission. 
four days closer to when you do Harakiri. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll see to everything. Hojin's assassination has put Toibara on the alert. I can deal with him. Have you two ever met before? We haven't. But I believe that he's heard of my name, though he's not met me personally. Don't be so certain. He is very intelligent. You do well not to treat a fox like a rabbit. At least he's observed formalities. <laughs> Your adopted father observed all the formalities as well. But he still raped you when you were just 16. <laughs> What's up with you now? Yoshiko, I love you. Yoshiko. <laughs> Yoshiko. Give me a chance. What if I refuse you? How can you refuse me? You need me to help you, don't you? Yoshiko, Yoshiko. <gasps> I would much rather commit harakiri than submit to your odious charms. Well, now, before you commit harakiri, you should eat this food. It is really very tasty. I need your help. Oh. You sure you need my help? I can't swim among the fish as well as you can. Forget about me. Just think of Kokurukai. I'm just thinking about you committing harakiri. in this kimono? Yes, you are. Come on. I want to know what I'm expected to do for this. Tomorrow, we are going to the dragon cave to see Fuyi. With luck, he'll be on his own. But the chances are he'll have eight I need your help so I can kid. Majesty! Majesty! Your Majesty, 
Allow me to present myself. I'm the daughter of Prince Shu, Princess Xin Wan. Xin uh, Wan? Prince Shu? I remember him. Didn't he die in Japan? Even when he was dying, he wanted to help you, to reclaim your throne. His loyalty moves me deeply. Please get up. Thank you, Your Majesty. My Lord! My Lord! Hey, there are a hundred passages in this cave. How do we know which way the Emperor has gone? Perhaps he'll be caught by the ghost. Your Majesty, may I present you a letter from the Prime Minister of Japan. Please, will you read it? Oh. Where is she? I don't know. My lord! My lord! Hey! Who's that? After him! Get it! Stop it! Prince Shu didn't know what he was doing with such a lovely daughter. Why didn't you come here before? You do it harder. Do it harder. <laughs> if you were to come with me now, I would serve you for the rest of my life. Good. Mmm, good. <laughs> Where have you taken the Emperor? The King? Follow me. My lord, no. <laughs> no, not now. No, lord. <laughs> Who are you? I'm just in time. How'd you know we were here? I've known all along. I know all about you. You called the Plum Bandit? Yes, that's me. You killed a lot of Japanese. That's only the beginning. I'm going to kill some of the top Japanese soon, such as Doibra and Miss Yoshiko. My lord! My lord! My lord! My lord! My lord! You better go to the palace. Later, it will get too dark and you'll get lost. Can I take her with me? If she doesn't take you away... My lord! My lord! My lord! The king is here! His majesty is here! Oh, he's over there! Come on! <laughs> Better not take off all your clothes, dear. You'll catch your death of cold. My lord! My lord! My lord! Xinhua! My lord, I'm at the Shikishima Inn. Hey. 
Hello? What happened? Nothing. It was nothing. Just a dream. My Lord! My Lord! Oh, oh, oh. My Lord! Stop high. Huh? Did you see anything? Yeah! I saw a big black bird. It was flying. Flying high. <laughs> Wonderful! Could I see the empty? Nonetheless, much blood has been spilled. You think I don't know what you've been doing? <laughs> Master always told me. And now, I have to admit that he was right. Despite all my precautions, you still find out everything. You've underestimated their security. If it was as easy as you had thought to take the Emperor... We'd have had him out of here months ago. It would have been no problem for my organization. Why have you come? To help me? Or laugh at me? No, you might say to warn you. If I'd known you were up to these tricks... I would have placed you under arrest for disturbing the peace. Have you been in contact with the Emperor? Since you met the Emperor in the cave, apparently he's been captivated by you. He won't tell anyone what's happening. But then, who else could have known about it? Tong Xiao Pai. Hmm. It must be him. He was there at the same time. Hello, Jesus. I'll put it on the back page then. Hello there. Ah, How's it going? Mm -hmm. Editor, headline story. Oh, what's that? Miss Yoshiko's had a bit of trouble. She oh. almost seduced the emperor, but I saved him just in time. <laughs> Very good. You're always resourceful. Nothing's ever beyond you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy now. This Miss Yoshiko is no dumb girl. She has completely got the Emperor under her spell. If I had arrived just two minutes later, it would have been a different story altogether. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the government sent an agent. Oh, who's that? The bluebird is flying around the plum blossom. A poem? No, it's a code. Oh. Tell him to come here right now. We know very well Yoshiko's already taken action. Don't they realize it's an emergency? Mm. Mm. Yoshida's been asked to go to the Qing Garden as an advisor. But I know he's really discussing plans with Fuyi to leave him. Mm. Just suppose somehow we were able to steal Yoshida's briefcase. We could open it up and find out what plans he does have for Fuyi. Mm. Right. Right. Hey, I know Yoshida is very keen on antiques. You leave him to me. Mr. Yoshida, you finish your work for the day? I have. 
Oh, I've got some antiques for you. I'm sure you'll be interested. Would you like to come and see them? What are you looking for? I... Uh, I'm looking for a camera. But uh, how could a camera be here? I... It is here, because I just put it here. <laughs> then someone else must have spirited it away. That's strange. Uh -huh. Blood! Master! You're wounded! Chop eye. Chop eye. Oh, young master is wounded. Uh, Help uh, quick. Uh, 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 what the hell's going on? Uh, I've just been attacked by some birds in the garden. Uh. <laughs> you Chinese have a saying. If you play with fire, you're bound to be hurt. I don't think that Mr. Tong's the plum bandit. Because I hurt him. He couldn't escape from my knife. And the plum bandit's an expert. He would never have let that happen. Can you be so sure? Brother... No matter what our personal differences, we still fight for the same country, right? Of course. We should be like comrades in arms. Then since our course is identical, to help Fuyi escape from here and be the new ruler of Manchuria, we shouldn't be working against each other any longer. Let us both decide from now on to cooperate. If not, Perhaps that neither of us will take Puyi to Manchuria. I couldn't agree with you more. Let's work together as a team. And here's hoping our teamwork leads to even better things. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 You're wonderful. I noticed Mr. Yoshida examining an antique. I found your bag out in the garden and thought you'd lost it. I also found this camera inside it. <laughs> I figure you're the plum bandit. You're nothing better than a thief. 
Have you heard of the poem? The bluebird is flying all around the plum blossom. You're the special government agent. You seem to be surprised. I have been especially trained at Wuxi. I assure you I'm more than capable. I see from this paper that they intend to take Fu Yi away on November the 20th at 7 at night to Shaotung Station. Right. Today's the 18th. We have two more days. I think headquarters would like us to act immediately. They'll try to take Fu Yi out now. We'll have to stop them by force. But our troops are not allowed in the Japanese sector. Also, we have no reason for stopping for you leaving town. It's in the agreement that the Emperor has full freedom of movement. Though we can rely on public opinion to prevent him from becoming a Japanese puppet. Right. Then we'll publish it. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon your documents were photographed by Tung Shao Pai. <laughs> the guy is sure a fast operator. <laughs> Yoshiko says he's not the plum bandit, but she is wrong. He allowed himself to be hurt by her, so she would no longer suspect him. Anyhow, they fell for a trap. What they photographed was false material. <laughs> you sent for me, sir. Yes, get your men ready, and some troops, and burn Nankai University, the headquarters of the anti-Japanese. Yes. Mm. We'll burn down the university to create confusion. While their attention's distracted, we'll take Fu Yi away from here. <laughs> University students have military training. Uh, I'm glad you show such concern for my plan. Oh. I'm cooperating. <laughs> oh. But why should you? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's just say that I've become rather fond of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If the Emperor knew we were together, wouldn't he be jealous? Of course. Hmm. He's a very jealous man. Oh? Hey! 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 Hey!
that you should. No use denying it. I checked you out thoroughly. He is Mongolian, a Mongolian prince. Kenju Sabu. You were once married to the man. Marta. Pig! Kenju Chabu. Martyr! Martyr! Hmm. What else is he doing here? For me. He loves you? <laughs> At least, he's been looking for me. <laughs> for two years. What will you do about him? I will inform him that our marriage is over. Go home. And what if he refuses to listen, despite your word? Really? Now he will listen. Mongolian's heavy. It is my opinion. The Japanese are not going to take Fuyi away to the station. Also, the area around the station is not good for defense. I think they're baiting a trap for us. If we do go there, I'm sure they will ambush us and surround us. The trouble at the university these past two days is just to distract our attention. So we're still none the wiser as to what they're planning.
The Emperor asked me to give you this. Oh. Thank you very much. Go back and tell the Emperor it will all be arranged. He has nothing to worry about. He's finally fallen into my hands. He says that he's missing me terribly, so he'll come tonight at ten o'clock to see me. <laughs> Tell them to get my room ready. We're going to use this opportunity to get away. Hmm. See everything's fixed. Yes. Momoko, you'd better be on your guard. They'll follow you. Don't you worry. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Good. Thanks a lot. Listen, I have just had a call about our friend the Emperor. You better get all of your men together. We're going to have our work cut out for us tonight. Yes, sir. Come along with me. Yes, sir. Now, right. 
out the guard. Wait. There are a lot of Japanese swordsmen breaking the place up. They've come for the emperor. What? Quickly, we'll go out by the window. Yes. That's My lord, me. you must come oh, quickly. Oh, what? It's your line. My lord. Oh, 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 be careful. Oh. Oh.
Don't you go. Thanks a lot for all you've done. I'll take over. But how did you know that the Emperor was here? Yoshiko, you're still a young girl. You have a lot to learn. I've had you spied on ever since you got here. You seem surprised. Oh? You mean one of my people? Momo? I've known your every move. You fitted in very well with my plans. Let's go back to Tokyo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Women are too emotional. They're incapable of being spies. You must know how much this means to me. So why can't you let me take the king? If Shin Wan can't go with me, I would rather die. I refuse to go to Mukton with you. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> You're a clever girl. If you come with us, you'll remain alive. Oh, leave him alone. I just got a cable. His father is hostage in Japan. Send him to Mongolia. We can use his father to fix the alliance just as well. 
Go on. Oh. Get moving. Intending to get Fu Yi out of Tientsin. Tell me, or I'll leave you here to die in your own blood. General. Hmm. I have informed our headquarters that we're moving on the university. To divert the Chinese troops away from the Pai River. Meanwhile. You can take Fu Yi away by motor launch. Thank you, General. We're ready to leave this evening. Now, don't forget to load the petrol. Yes. If the Chinese get to the boat first, then burn Fu Yi alive. Yes, sir. Momoko was trusted by Yoshiko. But really, she was working for the Japanese military chiefs. She told me in the hospital that at midnight tonight, they'll be taking Fu Yi out of dock number 12. The name of the boat, Hijiyama Maru, leaves from Taku Harbor. Better alert our troops immediately. Dark 12's in the Japanese sector. We can't get in there. But this is an emergency. We'll blow up the ship. I'll go with you. I'll go too. <laughs> Sir, all ready. Take the king aboard first. I'll join you in a moment. Sir. Move along there. This way. University's in an uproar. All the troops have gone there to help. We'll have to go on our own. Right. We'll have to go there by ourselves. I was detained by the general. I'm sorry if I kept you waiting. You can take the ship out now. Go ahead. Did you bring any grenades? Yes, I have. Good. Momoko said that on board there are several drums of petrol. We can't stop them at the dockside. We'll have to blow the ship up and kill everyone. Including, I'm afraid, the Emperor. Oh. That's why Doibrin stayed ashore. That means one of us is forced to run for it. Toss a grenade, and then the ship mm. will blow up, and it's all over. Right. Steam ahead, quick! Aye, aye, sir. Stop her, right, Captain! 
Let's go. If we're intercepted by the Chinese, we will have no choice but to burn the ship. Doiber will kill all of us. It is the only way there is of destroying the evidence of the kidnap that we are taking the Emperor to Mukden. Explode that thing, or else we'll all die. Can't you, Chabu?
Cartagena.
。记者，请你帮我把这张照片交给我未婚妻。蒋大爷，你还在想你的未婚妻？未婚妻，我还可以。你有什么条件？刺杀淮北特勤处处长陈彪。刺杀陈彪？我不去。为什么呢？他的特勤处是有名的杀人组织。我去，也是粽子。那你放心，这次他到东乡会见日本人，随从很少。他到东乡？嗯。那我更不去。我听过你的事迹，还以为你是一位英雄好汉。那不同，工头扣我们工人的工钱，我失手杀了他，我一个人抵罪。杀了陈彪，全东乡的乡民都会被我连累。陈彪不出，东乡人的生命也没有保障。再说了，我不去。张大远，我替你可惜。南方派来的奸细，哦，他们果然知道我来到此地。两河，嗯，吩咐下去，从明天开始，没有本处通行证，一概不准出入本乡。是，处长，大帅有命令下来，向日本购买军火的款项，要由我们负责。你去帮王天川向郑明催缴。还没死。你是谁？我姓董，董子安。是你救了我，谢了。张大爷，你到哪儿去？回东乡。你跟着我干什么？听说你是个讲义气的汉子，我救了你一命，你欠我的人情。有话请直说，不必拐弯抹角。带我进入东乡，刺杀陈彪。原来你跟王狱长串通好，抱歉，我不去。哎，你欠我一条命，那是你救错人了。嗯。张大月，你是一个不讲义气的汉子。我是不愿意人家设圈套让我跳。我不要你帮我杀陈彪，我
，我只要你带我进入东乡，不用我带，谁都可以进入东乡。陈彪已经封锁了东乡，陌生人根本进不去。抱歉，如果我带你进去，会害得东乡乡民。张大月，你是个懦弱汉子，我看不起你。朋友，算我欠你一条命。你东西都在齐了。苦了，这样再教下去，日子怎么过呢？孩子，这有什么办法呢？豺狼当道，再苦我们也得忍受下去。嗯。快点，快点。哈哈哈哈哈！快点。你叫什么名字？我叫葛福兴。嗯。嗯。嗯。怎么这么吵？王队长。我们家只有这么一点儿、啊，嗯，妈的，没粮！哎呦，哎呦，哎呦，哎呦，哎，你疼呀？你，不要紧，不要打了，嗯，叫他们不要打了。你是本乡土生土长的，你应该在处长面前替我们说说好话呀、啊。嗯，陈老头，当初我偷了一只鸡，你们就把我当强盗审判。那时候你怎么不帮我说说话呢？呃，王天川，妈的，王天川是你叫的。告诉你，我现在我是王队长，呃、王队长。这个哎呀，哎呀，你你你，别别别，王队长，嗯。陈、哎、老弟，你先回去吧。李会长，要忍耐一下了。嗯啊。哎哎，走。王队长，你怎么老打人呢？陈老爹他说的话没有错，你是应该替我们大伙说说话的。小梁是处长的命令，谁都不能更改。王队长，你是处长的心腹，我相信只要你肯替我们大家说话，陈处长呢一定会改变心意的。李清堂，你话里带刺儿，当心我把你的醒狮武术会给你砸了。高队长，你什么东西？妈的！骂我！放开！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎呀！哎！
。李会长，我一向尊重会务的朋友，希望你能跟我合作，劝导乡民交粮纳税，否则。不要怪我陈彪手下无德，这猛于虎，强迫百姓交纳重税，当然百姓不服。走，走。王天川，不，哎，各位各位，来来来,来，大家请坐下来。我知道你们的心情，我也了解诸位对军阀的痛恨，但是我们的力量太弱了。为了东乡，我们只有忍耐，等候时机。师傅，再等下去就会被那些王八羔子逼死了。既然早晚都是死，不如咱们合力干。杀一个是一个，军工皮的老板，杀死他们十个，也抵不过你们一个。我平常教导你们，要练到忍字。你们这样做是莽汉，不是英雄。不到万不得已，不要轻举妄动。等到北伐军来了，我们多的是机会。师傅，等北伐军来了，我们非宰掉那些龟孙子不可。嗯。把包袱拿出来，走吧。走，走。是本乡人，从外地回来，没有通行证。不管你是谁，没有通行证就是不许进去。走，走啊！他妈耍狠，找错地方了。本地人，几年以前出外谋生，他没有通行证，不能进乡里游子归家，怎么可以不让人家进来？这是处长的命令，万一出了事，我十条命也不够赔呀、啊！出事由我负责。我们走。哼，他妈！大月，你回来的正好，方姑每天都惦着你。这次回来，我不会再走了。县长，总管还开着吧
开是开了，但是没有以前那么有朝气。大月，你快回去吧，我还得去劝乡民交粮。有空，我会来找你。嗯。那我先回去了。早就不想了，我只是替大伙儿担心，三天两头的交粮，人都要被逼死了。老天爷如果有眼，那些北洋军阀会得到报应的。谁呀、啊？我。好像是大月。来了来了。哦，爹，大月。果然是你，爹，我回来了。啊，大月，放空。胆子是越来越大了，竟然敢私自放人进来，连陈处长的命令你居然都敢反抗！不错，人是我放的，不过命令也得合乎情理。那个人是东乡人，为什么不准人家还乡？再说，你也认识张大月啊？他回来了，怎么，你怕了？<笑>我可不是从前的王天川，他的胳膊再厉害，也不敢动我一根汗毛。哼，我看你比以前更不如。哼，李庆成，你不要太放肆，当心我宰了你。杀了我，你也得不到乡民的合作。哼，不要用这个威胁我。明天要不把粮交齐，我就先杀几个乡民给你看看。到时候你可别后悔。王天川，你不要忘了，你也是东乡人。可是我忘不了东乡人以前给我的侮辱。走。秦川仗着陈彪的势力，到处兴风作浪，使得乡民人心惶惶。不知道什么时候，杂货会落到自己的头上。难道没有人出来替大家说话？李会长虽然力争，但是有什么用呢？大爷，有机会你带着房姑离开这个鬼地方。张大爷，出来！谁？糟了，是王天川。大爷
，你带着防护色框，我们先走吧，快走啊！不，我要看看王天川有什么本事把我赶走。哎哎、王天川，几年不见，你越混越发达了。哼，好说，十年风水轮流转。也该我姓王的发发迹了。你有什么指教？听说你没有通行证就进来了，回乡还要通行证，我可第一次听说。东乡可不像从前呢，不能让你来去自由。我要来，没人能阻挡我；要走，也没人能留我。大人。姓张的，你既然回来了，就该守点规矩，否则的话，不要怪我姓王的黏你出去。姓王的，咱们井水不犯河水，惹毛了，谁也别想好过。好，咱们骑驴看唱本，走着瞧。哎，走，啊、走。大爷，你这下祸可闯大了。我看你还是赶快带着方姑离开这鬼地方。放心，他们忙着跟日本人打交道，暂时不会找我们麻烦。小林川，你是越混越回头了。日本人好听就造，你不把钱凑齐了，净跟别人算什么旧账？哎，报告处长，姓张的那个小子，以前在镇上。一向获得证明的信赖，而且他的功夫也很扎手，我是怕误了咱们的大事。去调查一下，只要他不是南方派来的人，等买了军火之后，再好好慢慢收拾他。你还记得咱们以前驾小船出海捕鱼的事？记得。为了做鲨鱼，我差点掉下来，幸亏你救了我。一晃就三四年了，大人，嗯，我今天找你来，有点事想跟你商量。什么事？刺杀陈彪啊。我知道很困难，但是如果我们两个人能使陈彪落单，我想不会有问题的。你跟南方有没有关系？没有。那你为什么要刺杀陈彪？如果梁穗明天不交齐，乡民们就会遭殃。他是在威胁你。你不愿意刺杀陈彪，杀了他，乡民更活不了。梁穗明天不交齐，他真的会下毒手。他只会杀几个人示威，绝不会对付整个乡民的。不管是谁，命都是一样的。不用说了，我不会干。没想到你是个贪生怕死的人，不管你怎么样骂我，还是一句话，不干。张大月，我从此以后没有你这个朋友。
大惊小怪，有人通过关卡跑进村子里来了。哦，走。大概就是方姑小姐，这位是我南方的一位朋友。大爷，请人家到家里坐坐，我先回去沏茶啊。嗯、有这么好的如花美眷，难怪你不肯冒险。哎，你是怎么进来的？嗯、啊，我是冲进来的，却在无意中碰到你。你又找上我了，张大月，我总得向你要回你欠我的人情
，你有把握让我还？我想你不至于坏到这种地步。哎，说，为什么抓到人？处长，那人功夫实在厉害。我我们，妈，你又会做？我告诉你们，翻遍了每一寸土地，你们要把人抓回来。他们现在一定在全力的搜查我。你暂时在我这里躲一躲，他们抓不到你。嗯。张大月，咱们旧话重提，你要是不帮我，我就把你坐牢的事。东三，如果你说出我坐牢的事，小心我把你叫到陈彪那儿去。你帮我刺杀陈彪，我就不告诉他。你在威胁我，我只问你帮不帮我忙。你说烂了嘴，我也不会帮你的。偷渡姓江的人是不是藏在你这儿？黄天顺，哼，狗改不了吃屎，你永远学不会情况。人怎么会在我这里？张大月，你一回来，就有人偷渡入乡，这件事情与你脱不了关系。哼，你经常见无来人吗？我找到了人，你再强辩也没有用。走，是。张大，我随时会盯着你。走。怎么？人抓到了，姓李的，你去告诉江民，谁敢窝藏人犯，谁就别想活命。记住，梁穗明天一定要交齐。还有
，要召集乡民去修理砖窑厂，否则的话，有你的好看。走，嗯。靠不住，盯着他。嗯。师傅，我跟你去。大哥的。这一去我凶多吉少，明天粮税不交齐，他们不会放过我的。只要先刺杀陈彪，东乡才会暂时的安宁。陈彪今天视察荒废的砖厂，带的手下一定不多，这是一个好机会。师傅，你总是要有个帮手，你去了也是白赔一条命。大个子，记住我的话，要救乡民，只有忍耐，等革命军到来。不，师傅，我一定要跟你去砖厂修好，顺便搭个瞭望台，派人看守，以防有人破坏。
你，他们会不会真的把香菱杀了？大哥吧，要想活命，得照着我的吩咐去做。你做梦！嗯，宰一个给他看看。翻遍了东乡，也要把人给我抓到。大哥吧，说，张八月到哪里去了？我不知道。<笑>我不相信你是铁打的，说不说？说不说？说不说？你说不说你？说不说？你<笑><笑>
南方的人知道你来，想在火车站刺杀他们。还好，我早有准备。他是我手下的凶手，捉到了没有？凶手逃了。不过，我一定要抓到他。凶手捉到了，一定交给我宰了他。你的任务完成了多少？大帅很信任我。军政大权，我可以随时掌握。只不过，南方的军队太厉害了，我们需要大批的军火。你要的军火，明晨会到。我希望你迅速阻止南方的军队，掌握实权。我们大日本皇军就会支持你到底。当我有得势的一天，我却忘不了大日本对我的恩惠。你得到了江山。大日本一定会支持你到底的。你为什么要救我？说句老实话，我并不希望你去送死。你能够抛弃成见，冒着生命的危险跑来救我，你总算是个有血性的汉子。不要这么说，我承认以前我的想法有偏差，在军阀统治下。百姓永远无法过安居乐业的生活，军阀不除，国家难以统一。据我们所得到的情报，陈彪与日本人有秘密协定，不除去他们，祸患无穷。原来陈彪另有一心。我以前太自私了。日本人运军火的船，明天早晨才会到。咱们要利用日本代表来接船的时候。先将他干掉，陈彪一落单，也许我们还有机会。只要有机会，就能拼了命。我。